Alright, there you go. Get your gloves on. Now this isn't normally what we use. Uh, these are brushes with the powder already attached up here. It goes down. We normally use a brush and have to dip it in powder, but it's a whole lot nastier, messier. So I figured we'll try this. It'll get black junk all over you. How's that? There you you see anything popping up on it? Put it on from one end to the other so you can, don't get any air bubbles in it. So occasionally we get catch fun stuff like foxes and yeah. blackberries every spring. This spring we'll have blackberries in Alco again. Every, it's every year. So, and we have to use the tranquilizer to you know bring them down and remove them from the area. So. <laughs> We do have, uh, just a month or so ago, we had a couple of pits, that wasn't a month ago, three weeks ago, got loose down there by Marco Polo. Oh yeah, yeah. Across the middle of the Chinese restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah. And they bit somebody in the parking lot. It was, they had two of them, they got loose in two different days and bit somebody and they were pretty aggressive. So yeah, I don't like to deal with pits if I don't have to, but there's a lot of them in Alcoa. Stay away from those if you have to. You know, there's nice ones, but they've got the equipment to do damage. If I've always been interested in law enforcement and stuff like that, so I've been to, I don't know, I just like, I watch cops a lot, and I like to, I like, like, watching the chases and stuff, and watching the canine dogs, and I watch CSI, and I want to be like a forensic scientist or something, or a police officer. I've always had a respect for firemen and policemen because my grandpa's a retired fire chief. What appeals most to you about being a police officer? Being able to protect people's rights. He shows a video of a chase at 2 o'clock in the morning of a drunk person. It was funny. <laughs> they were on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. First it was slow, like he was just following the person. And they were going slow, but you could tell that they were drunk because they were like... And they would, and they would turn on the blinker when there's no turn. <laughs> like, if you go around the corner, they would turn on the left blinker where there would be no turn or nothing. And they were like, get out of the car, get out of the car. He got out the car with a gun. He got out the car with the gun. Yeah. He was like, this is him on the ground. <laughs> it was funny. It was. I like this trip because I've always seen like cops. And, you know, I watch cops. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I watch it like I watch day. it all the time. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah. I mean, you know, that's not really how things happen. Like in the first because they portrait. portray things differently in TV just for TV purposes. Yeah. And I'm like, I wonder how things really go. You know. So I came to see, I guess, what it's like because it's not like cops on TV. It's completely different. Exactly. Yeah.